All right, today I have to tell you, um, this is what it looks like to be a listing agent. Oops, hold on, I just wanna make sure I'm being safe here while I drive. Okay. I have sellers and today is move out day. They got all their stuff out and then called me to tell me, you know, that, hey, they were gonna be cleaning. Uh, buyers are coming through to do the walkthrough at four o'clock. I get a call from her at noon and she's like, I, she's like, I don't think I'm gonna be done. Texted my cleaning crew, who I love dearly, and asked them if there was any way that they could come over and help but in the meantime, I called her and I'm like, well, what do you have left? I'll come over and just start cleaning, go to work. Let's get done what we can get done and go from there. Honestly, I showed up and I have to tell you, you know, this seller is just so super conscientious that the house, when I walked in the door, the house already looked better than 99% of the houses that are, you know, when they get turned over, unless they have them professionally cleaned. It's literally like, wow, we could probably just, you know, walk away and be fine right now. So my cleaning crew, I was about to call them and say, hey, listen, I don't really think there's much for you to do, but they showed up. And so, you know, they did some of the details that you kind of don't think about, maybe um, like dusting off the blinds, ceiling fans, and you know, things like that. So we got it done, which is great news. It was just kind of all hands on deck and what would have taken her all by herself, probably another four hours to do with all of us there together, we were able to get it done in about 90 minutes. You know what, sometimes that's what being a listing agent looks like. Sometimes it's about stepping up and stepping in when your sellers need some help. And you know what, you don't do that for every single deal, but you do what you have to do to get stuff done. Whether you're representing the buyer or the seller, it really doesn't matter. You know, there are certain things that fall under your purview as a realtor that 100% it is your job to get done. But rarely do I go through an entire you know, from contract to close of escrow, where there's not something that you're doing to just step up and step in and help out. And sometimes it's just making a phone call or sending them the right connection for the right person. But other times it really is about some plain old elbow grease. Had a fantastic seller. He was an amazing person with an amazing history and great storytelling capabilities. He was in his 90s, he was actually a prisoner of war during World War II and then he was one of the first engineers to work with NASA and you know so he fought for our country. I listened to his stories were amazing. He didn't really have anybody helping him get packed up and moved out and he had lived in the same place for I don't know 25 years or something like that all alone and I show up the day before close of escrow and sure enough there are just I mean there's no way. I'm looking at this going, there's no way that we're gonna get everything boxed up. And I just went to work. I started helping him throw stuff out. I started helping him pack stuff up. You know, so sometimes that's just what it looks like. So don't be afraid to go above and beyond because it's, an, it's a willingness and an ability to go above and beyond in this business that will truly set you apart. What is it gonna take to get it done? And let's do it. Let's go to work and let's get her done. <laughs> so that's my final thought at the end of the day. Thanks for joining me. I'm Jackie Simmerl-Tate and I'll see you on the next one.